What's up my dear boys and girls, it's Ranger Boy here and welcome to uh, a discussion video I guess? No need to worry guys, review of this week's episode plus other videos and hopefully crack if ShowPro stops being such a will come soon throughout the upcoming days. But for now I wanted to have a little talk with you guys in regards of one of the most infamous Pokemon episodes of all time. And it's all thanks to you guys. Because of us? Why? Because I made this video right here thanks to you guys. And even though this video reminded me of a lot of good memories, it also reminded me of one really bad experience I had with the Pokemon anime. And that is this one. Black and White Episode 50. For many people one of the low points of the Black and White series, and also for many a reason to give up on Ash. But before I will start, I will have one question for you guys. Was there any point in time that you have completely given up on the anime? And yes, many of you guys have given up thanks to Sun and Moon, but if that really and truly is the reason, then at least tell me why. And was there a point even before Sun Moon where you nearly gave up on the anime? In the past, this one did it for me, and wow, it was really frustrating. But what about now? If you want to know more, then grab some popcorn, grab some cookies, let's do this. So first, let's sum up the episode. It's basically just Ash's gym battle against Eliza, which in itself doesn't sound that bad. I mean, how can gym battles, known for their amazing action, be considered one of the worst of all time? Uh, it doesn't really start very well. It begins with Ash trying to use his head instead of his guts. Oh boy, we have seen that concept fail numerous times before and after that. But then, surprisingly enough, Ash not only tries to rely less on Pikachu, ooh, so we already have hints of XY Ash in form of Black and White Ash, but he also also starts very smart by using Palpatode against Eliza's sub striker and I have to say this, this battle was good. Like it wasn't the best battle of all time, but I overall really enjoyed this battle. Sub striker's speed while not being able to use electric type moves against Palpatode's sheer endless amount of endurance, well I thought it was good. And after such a positive first impression, double happens. The beautiful gym leader then sends out Emolga, defeats Palpatode in quick fashion and then Ash gets out of the battlefield to get his next Pokemon. Yes, that means that Ash's master strategy was to only use Palpatode, to only use one Pokemon to win against Eliza's Pokemon. <laughs> also, since this Palpatode got hit by Attract, he thought to himself, hey, why not use Attract against Attract? <laughs> but that didn't work either, because Ash forgot that his Snivy is female, and that female on female action doesn't work in the Pokemon world. <sighs> And to put the cherry on top of the bullshit ice cream cup, Ash was so confident that electric type Emolga wouldn't defeat the grass type Snivy, even though Emolga defeated his last Pokemon with flying type moves only, and he soon realized that he fucked up. But credit to Snivy, at least she tried to put a decent fight even with all the BS beforehand. But Ash, how dare you, how dare you to put Snivy through all this crap. Such an amazing Pokemon, in my opinion one of Ash's best black and white Pokemon and overall one of the most underrated one in both power and character. And she had to endure this? But thank god the episode in the end improved majorly. Pikachu, eagerly wanting to battle, finally woke Ash up from all his illogical tactics and soon our forever 10 year old returned to his former self, aka relying on his guts rather than his brains. Pikachu then basically one shot Morga and had an okay fight with Tinamo. The one moment during the Tinamo battle I liked the most was when Ash was was unsure whether or not he'll be able to win, but one look at his partner and our hero had no doubts anymore. They win and Ash got his badge. So after this really quick summary, is this episode the worst of all time? Yes and no. No because I really enjoyed the beginning and the end of the episode. Overall I really like the theme of this episode, that sometimes you have listened to your instincts rather than your brains to get things done. And all three of Ash's Pokemon put up a very decent fight. Last but not least, the animation in this battle was really good. I totally forgot how awesome Black and White was animated, especially during battles. Also not to mention that Eliza is just, oh wow, she's bae. Like she really is one of the most attractive and gorgeous women in Pokemon. But thanks to Skylar, she's kinda unappreciated, isn't she? But at the same time, this episode right here could be considered as one of the worst of all time, if not the worst of all time, because of all the BS in between, from Ash's stupid Palpatode strategy until the whole Snivy battle. For me, these few scenes did two things. First, it hurt the overall reputation of Black and White. I never really understood the hate for Black and White, because when I rewatched it, in my opinion it was awesome. Yes, it had a cringeworthy beginning like like Ash making stupid beginner mistakes and Ash trying to battle Sandai with electric type moves but then it really improved from episode to episode and this is why this episode till this day makes me so angry because it basically sacrificed all the progress that the black and white series achieved for the sake of bullshit and secondly like I mentioned at the beginning of this video this episode really hurt the reputation of Ash as a competent trainer it just made him look so stupid and I can totally understand why many people have given up on Ash especially during the run of black and white Thankfully, Ash never behaved in such 
a retarded way ever again. The rest of Black and White Ash was really decent, and he would only improve during X, Y, and Sun and Moon. But man, this can truly be called Ash's lowest point as a trainer. So in conclusion, this episode is not the worst of all time when it comes to action and the overall message it tries to tell, but when it comes to the logic and character progression of Ash, it is indeed one of the worst of all time. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little... I really don't know what this is. Is it a discussion video or was it even a review? Who cares? Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and just like always, see you guys in the comments down below. Bye guys!